You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling. Like we've plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Where are the Sialfur? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. I'll break you in. My shield will not open. Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. Yeah! 
Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. Carefully, brother. Outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. Oh, he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation, then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. you to perform the ritual of selection. Now, 
Let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. Please, Kratos, speak with my sisters before you venture back in. What do you know of this place? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities, and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. What have you to say? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. Step up to the I gate with your air. Gunnar, with me. Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Zebra. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, Shield Maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. <laughs> New attempt, new choices to make. A fresh start. I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. So, is this no piece of Asgard at all? Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. <laughs> Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, a whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position. Sorry, brother, but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. Agreed. Fire
I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, I make her wield it alone. Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? <laughs> Must be how you remember Sparklefine. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words, oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man. But you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Oh, my 
coming! Seek a way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well being. Combat can be clarifying. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules, and if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. <laughs> A master sees every setback as a catalyst for progress. Don't lose heart.
Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked. Cast into Tartarus. Ah yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Midgard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece. If we're pushing ahead, we better let you focus. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Brother, that throne we saw. Did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt Premier, meant to... let us talk later. I need to focus. Do what you need. <laughs> Two fights in a row now. Valhalla's demands are escalated. <laughs> there are more challengers like it to find. That is how we earn our way forward. Splendid. I think we're free and clear to take the way up now.
Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? <laughs> So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Core is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain! Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. This room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. Hmm. What, what are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs>
I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. You know, I could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. Time for another push. Let's go! Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage! It's not funny anymore! I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear. You haven't changed one solid brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. Thing. Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Seekman, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. <laughs> Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios 
and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll see. I'm truly not sure if we'd gone too far, or if we'd come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. Aha! Another of those spots for bargaining with Valhalla. Could really help you in there. Memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye! Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memory's a fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely.
Afraid of a little give and take, I see. Ah! <laughs> 
don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out. And it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything. But don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? I should focus on Right side, brother! Now then, the path should be unlocked. Let's make our way up.
They must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. Getting back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition to be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that. One way or the other. by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. Hello, me again! If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole. Oh, don't hurry up and make a decision on my account. We better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. This one looks easy. Oh. easy. Oh. Oh. Wait. 
Kratos. You shit skipper. Floating eyeball <laughs> tentacles? No, no, to this. No! Getting harder as you delay, Chris. <laughs> army is that? No one.
heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. Well, now it's a party. Four enemies on your left. What are you planning to do this time, Kratos? Wait, no, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Why are you here? Psychos! You'll never guess their weak spot. Brilliant move, you thought. Um, Kratos? Surely you're not supposed to. You know what? I would have signed it, but it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question. I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh. I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. 
Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Show me. No! Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Amir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind has done the work. <laughs> Defend yourself. There's the fire. Good, Kratos. <laughs> The man at war with himself places a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Incoming! Above you! <laughs> I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you.
You must strike a balance between discipline and creativity. Shame in making things a wee bit easier if you can. That benefit's good to last! Guler. Use this. Valhalla appreciates every step of your evolution. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. We're all impressed by your progress, Jen. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. Seagram, it's good to see you back. Freya was just being cautious. I'm right as rain. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye, and no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Kratos, I'm glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon, Kratos. No! Thank you! Remember this, Kratos. 
The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares, to stave off the barbarian war. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <laughs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. A memory fragment of your time in Alfheim, then. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat my command on the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal. Fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. Acts at all, but it might be worth it. Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. Oh, 
Still got it. Why help prepare me to take your old position? Why not fulfill it yourself? You seem capable. To the mortals of these realms, I am an ancient myth, long out of mind. The days I could hope to unify these realms are long past. But they see you as the hero of Ragnarok. You are known and respected. And from what I have seen, you are the most qualified by far. You need only to interrupt you, Tia, but we're pushing ahead now. Don't let me distract you from your contemplation. <laughs> Careful, who knows what's waiting for you in that mess? We're meant to choose one chest or the other. So we have a look. Oh! 
That's a load off. <laughs> Splendid. I think we're free and clear to take the way up now.
I'm back! What a thrill! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's crew are bound to be garbage, present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision? And still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people died as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach. Just overwhelming, honestly. Someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Ah, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. I meant to ask, how did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Oh, don't hurry up and make a decision on my account. Siren, cover my ears! Kratos! <laughs> Disrupted, you halfwit! yourself how convenient
I've spotted your quarry! Line behind you! Maximum challenge, <laughs> maximum reward. Host <laughs> warriors. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> looking for an edge. Is this a game to you?
back, brother. I hope your trip through Valhalla has been fruitful. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? I not accept defeat. I crave power. Shut off. Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. 
You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? 